Hi, and welcome to our lesson for today. We have a little bit of a special lesson. We're gonna go over real numbers, and so that way you can tell what number fits into what category as far as where they're classified. So let's go ahead and start with the definition of real numbers. A real number is any number that can be represented on the number line. So most of you, these are gonna be any number you've ever seen before. If you recognize the number, and it fits on a number line, it's a real number. These are gonna include rational and irrational numbers, which we're gonna to get to here in a few minutes. So let's go over some of these different categories of numbers, and the first one is called the natural numbers. Natural numbers are counting numbers. So these are any number that you recognize as far as when you start counting. One, two, three, four, and so on. So those are your natural numbers. And then the next category is gonna be whole numbers. And whole numbers are natural numbers and zero. So now we start at zero and we have one, two, three, and so on, it keeps going. So as far as natural numbers, this is what you learned when you first learned how to start counting. You learned how to count starting with one. And then as far as whole numbers, once you started doing math problems, you also added in the zero. So now we're gonna talk about integers. As you got farther into math, you started learning about integers. Integers are whole numbers and the opposites. So integers are gonna start as far down in the negatives as you can go, and then we're gonna just continue here with negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, and it just keeps going. So integers are whole numbers and the opposite. So those are your basic categories here. So let's go ahead and move on to something a little bit more difficult. Let's talk now about rational numbers. And so rational numbers are expressed as a fraction, but the denominator cannot be zero. So to just show you how that's represented, we have a over b, that's our fraction, b cannot equal zero. Now these are variables, so we can plug in any number for those, but just so you know exactly what I'm talking about, when I'm talking about just regular fractions, maybe one half, maybe you have seven eighths, uh, 12 over one, these are all just regular fractions. These are considered rational numbers. Now rational numbers are also going to include terminating and repeating decimals. And so what I mean by that is a terminating decimal would be like 1.2. This decimal ends at 2 tenths. It does not continue going. Uh, maybe 3.75. So that would be 3 and 75 hundredths. 6.0 is considered a terminating decimal, okay? Now, repeating decimals are gonna be decimals that when you make the divi when you divide the fraction, you end up with a decimal that continues going, but it repeats itself. So you may have 2.3, and you have that repeating sign over that. Sometimes the entire number after the decimal repeats. So in this case, the three is repeating. This answer is actually 2.33333, and it just continues on forever. So we put this repeating sign above it. This one is five and 14 hundredths. The whole 14 hundredths repeats itself. So this is 5.14141414 and it continues on forever. So then if we have another one, let's just say 6.27 and my repeat sign is only over the seven, then this number is actually 6.27777, only the seven repeats. So we only put the bar over the seven. So these are repeating decimals. These are terminating decimals. All of those are rational numbers. An irrational number cannot be expressed as a fraction, including square roots that are not perfect and decimals that do not terminate or repeat. So if we have a square root that is not a perfect square, so the square root is seven, that's an irrational number. If I have negative square root of 12, also an irrational number because neither of these are perfect squares, okay? And then let's see, a number that does not, a decimal that does not terminate or repeat would be pi. If you did pi on the calculator, it's not just 3.14 like you've been told to stop at. It's actually 
3.14 and it keeps going on numbers after number after number and it never ends and it does not have a repeating pattern. So those are considered irrational numbers. Um, there are more of them, but just to kind of give you an idea, these are the basic ones you're gonna actually see um, and use as far as basic math and algebra. And so we went over the irrational numbers that are um, square roots that are not perfect and non-terminating decimals. So that's just a basic overview of your real numbers and all of these fit into the real numbers category, okay? But they kind of build on themselves like we talked about before. So you started out with your natural numbers and then you ended up with whole numbers where you add the zero and then you go to integers where you add negatives. And so each category kind of builds on itself, but they are all considered real numbers. And then here we have rational and irrational numbers, which are also real numbers. So if you like this video, please give us a comment or subscribe to our channel. We have more videos for you to see. And if you have any comments, you can leave those below. We hope that you have a great day. Thanks for joining us.